Hi everyone, I'm Greg Basich. I'm the Associate Director in the Automotive Group with Counterpoint Research. And I'm here with Marie Hookberg uh, with Telenor IoT, and we're at IA Mobility 2025. And Telenor IoT is showing uh, their company's new IoT Drive platform. Can you tell me a little bit about this platform? Yes, of course, and thank you so much for the introduction. Um, yes, as you said, here at IAA, Telenor IoT is launching our new offer called IoT Drive, which is a tailored connectivity offer to the automotive industry, targeting software-defined vehicles and meeting their needs when it comes to connectivity deployments on a global basis. What are some of the key features that IoT Drive offers to automakers? Yeah. I mean, we at Telenor IoT, we have been doing connectivity and cars for like 20 years. So we build on a strong foundation when it comes to deploying managed connectivity solutions across the globe. Mm -hmm. So that is still very much a core feature of this offer. Of course, combining roaming and local profiles and the latest SGP2, SGP32 and O2 and 22 technologies and mm -hmm. platforms to manage that. So that is still a very, very important part of what we do. But what we also do now with IU2 Drive is that we are launching a new product called Consumer Connect. And Consumer Connect is a platform designed for the in-car connectivity use case. Mm -hmm. So it's a platform that helps uh, OEMs to, to monetize and find new service revenues generated mm -hmm. by the in-car connectivity experience. Mm -hmm. But it also helps to, to manage regulations and primarily to start with in Europe. What are some of the key challenges that automakers face in terms of deploying connectivity in Europe? For example, there have been a lot of um, new entrants to the market. For example, many Chinese automakers have entered the market. So what are some of the challenges they face in terms of adapting connectivity from, say, their home, home market to offering it in uh, Europe, especially which is, has many countries, many different regulations? Yes, exactly. Yeah, you're so right. And I mean, we to, to share a little bit about that, we work with the eight of the, oh, out of the 10 largest Chinese OEMs with various deployments globally, not all of them in Europe. Sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, as you say, regulation is very different uh, mm -hmm. from region to region, from country to country. And uh, going into Europe, um, you need to, of course, be aware of the regulation, but you also need probably to build up a completely new ecosystem of in-car applications and probably data centers mm -hmm. and how to manage privacy data, where to store data and, and so on. So it's building up the complete new ecosystem um, to manage these services, I would say. Mm -hmm. So it's both on the, on the services side, on the backend side, and also then, of course, understanding the European regulation when it comes to, mm -hmm. to connectivity which is, although Europe is one region and there is an harmonization mm -hmm. uh, behind the regulation, it is still very fragmented and right. you need to understand it country by country. And that's also what, what we can help with, of course. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, great. Um, how do you see connectivity shaping future software-defined vehicles? One of the topics that's come up in several press conferences that I've seen so far, even though uh, we're beginning of the show, already OEMs have talked about software-defined vehicles and how software is a driving factor mm. in the next generation models. So how is, what is Telenor's view of how connectivity is going to shape next generation software defined vehicles and the role that Telenor can play yes. in helping automakers deploy these next generation vehicles? Yeah, thank you for the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just to, to take a look back, I mean, cars have been connected for, for 20 years mm -hmm. and maybe in the beginning, in the first generation of cars here, connectivity was more of a, an extra feature. It was used for some connected services or, or functions. Mm -hmm. But the big difference now with software defined is that connectivity is re really the enabling technology for the full experience of that ve vehicle mm -hmm. throughout the, the lifetime of the vehicle, I would say. And it's not only about telematics or equal anymore, it's the in-car connectivity experience, it's the AD ADA software that comes, comes with mm -hmm. it. Right. And of course, the ability to do over-the-air updates mm -hmm. to actually upgrade and um, improve the software mm -hmm. over time. And I think that is really the, the key differentiator here. And without connectivity, the whole idea of, of, of over the updates will, wouldn't be possible. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you could go to the workshop, right. but that's what we, <laughs> that was the past, I would say. Mm -hmm. so, so I think in that sense, it's, um, it's a game changer for the industry. Mm -hmm. And of course, what we can do here, I mean, we are of course a partner when it comes to providing the access to the connectivity, mm -hmm. but also something that we do and that we put a lot, lot of 
investment into is uh, how we work with data and AI, mm -hmm. also to make sure that the cars stay connected and behave according to, to what's normal. Mm -hmm. And I think especially when it comes to over the air updates, that's a very, very good use case to understand like how cars are behaving, for example, before and after a software update. And you can do smaller deployments before you go big to understand that things work as, as, as expected because we also know that that's not always right. the case. So, so thanks to our AI and data and, and non-multi models, we have the opportunity really to, to help the OEMs with this uh, transition, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. All right, thanks for taking the time to talk about IoT Drive and what Telenor is able to offer and also a little bit about the future of the automotive industry. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Thank, thank you so much for, for taking your time mm -hmm. and asking. Thank oh, you. No problem. <laughs>